Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, this is a Monster Spotlight video um, requested by Clueless Q, and this is his Water Mera, or, or Chimera. Um, yeah, basically, this is... I think he's the f he's one of the farmable monsters on one of the newer newer maps, um, and he's he's a sealer and also a, a def defense down. Um, he has a basically AOE defense down and seal, so he's a utility monster, and I think he's probably best used for arena, um, especially if you can get him as a variant. He he gives an HP lead, which is like really really nice. Um, and actually, it isn't that hard to capture legendary variants? Like they do come, they do pop up sometimes. So you, you definitely should be able to, um, to get one if you really, really want one. You can just keep farming. So he has it on defense, defense, defense attack. Um, I think this is just a filler gem. He he did mention that it's not it's not like you know super super good, but it's it's a it's a pretty de pretty cool monster that nobody else really has. So this is basically built um, full utility, full tank, and I think since he's water, I'll just test him out in in the Starstone Dungeon B10, um, since the boss is fire. All right, so I'll I'll just test it out. I put in an armor breaker, crit leader, and a um, and a healer just to you know keep him alive, and then we can we can test out his his damage and stuff, and uh, and his just random utility. So. He's definitely not a damage monster. He's a utility monster. I'd really never seen him before. I, I I don't think I've even seen him in used at all in the arena. Um, but I think he's definitely a pretty good monster. So those like four hits of like five thousand. Um, he keep in mind he's built without any like any uh, any sort of attack. So he's basically well actually he does have one attack, but um, he's built built mo mostly tanky. Alright, since he taunted me, um, I'll try I'll try hitting someone without the armor break. So this is on with a crit as well. So that was like around 4,000 a hit, um, four hits of that, so about 12k, which I guess is pretty decent. Let's see let's see um, how much damage he, he can do if I if I can get a crit on armor break without um, if I can get a crit on armor break. See how much damage he can do. With his uh, one one of his skills, so seal is really really nice for the arena because um, seal basically makes it so like your the passive skills don't work. So basically, your like if your healers are had any sort of passive skills tied to their heals when they use it, um, nothing happens. Any like armor break, any stun, any anything um, won't work if you if you seal. And the, the best thing about Seal is it works really, really well against um, aggressors, like defense aggressors, like the Light Sea Star and, and Light Victoria, because it makes it so that they they can't, you know, get the aggression, and then they, they don't really do that much da all that much damage. Alright, I'm going to try to, I'm going to armor break one of them, and then I'll turn this to one time speed, and then you can compare the damage um, of him on armor break and without armor break on these two units. Yeah, that was that was a crit on this one, but then it didn't get it didn't crit on this one. But it's actually pretty good because he he still landed the armor break. I mean, it is sixty percent chance to to land on everyone, so it's it's not that bad. I think he's a decent monster, especially with him being farmable. That was two hits of seven thousand. That was like that was four hits of seven thousand on on crit. He isn't, he isn't built with a lot of attack. He, I think he only has like a bonus of like 30, 20 something attack um, currently on him right now. So it's not, it's definitely not a lot. It's, it's a shame that I can't test out monsters um, in the arena. It would have been a lot cooler if I was able to test them out and use them in the arena. I think it, it would have definitely been a lot more fun. But I think in these spotlight videos, I the best I can do is um, take in, take them into some dungeons. All 
Alright, let's try to get to the boss and then we'll see how much damage he can do on the boss. I think the spotlight videos are a lot more fun with damage dealing units. Like, I guess um, utility units are definitely fine as well. Alright, we'll just hit the boss a few times. We can see how much damage he, he does on a fire boss. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. That was like seven. That was like 3,000 a hit. Um, keep in mind that bosses have a lot more defense than any of the other mobs. Um, so he won't be hitting as hard on the boss. But I think. Or I, I think I can try to land the armor break on everyone. His attack animation is also pretty cool, I think. Like when he when he does his second skill, it's it's pretty nice. He just runs forward and starts breathing fire. Dang, I got taunted. Alright, let's see if I can try to if I can land the armor break on the boss and then we can see how much damage he does on the boss. So, so it's still like 5k a hit um, without crit on armor break. I mean he is water so this is with elemental advantage. So basically uh, against the boss and compared to like these slimes and stuff he does um, the same amount of damage like since he is water. Um, so I guess that's pretty good. Seal also doesn't land on on bosses, so I guess he's not all that useful for for dungeons. But for arena, Seal is like the best debuff, basically. Well, actually, no, like stun's still probably better, but um, most stuns only last one turn, and then Seal usually lasts longer. He has a two-turn Seal, so that's that's pretty good. Alright, I think that's that that's uh that's pretty much it for, for this spotlight. Like this boss will die eventually. I think you've seen enough of his uh of his damage and stuff. Dang this boss is so tanky. Still refusing to die. Oh, it would be so great if I can borrow monsters to do spotlights in the arena. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So this is basically like a series where I show off people's monsters, like random cool monsters that um, maybe other people haven't raised or don't really use. And you, you gem them up, you raise them, and, and wanted to want to to show them off on my channel. Um, I do these do these videos. So that yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, Thanks again Clueless Q for lending me a monster and yeah that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.